some people might see life as a jigsaw puzzle, so everything's all cut out already, and you just have to find the next piece of the puzzle that's been pre-cut. And artists have to build their own puzzle, put in a way that's not already predetermined by the, the puzzle maker. And it's a creation of my own. It's not the universe putting it together by herself. Turning the whole studio into like a piece of art, I, or at least, yeah, thinking about the whole studio as art, it's, that's a really fun thing that I've played with, like with my past studios. I've painted all over the place and done photo shoots within it and make objects within it. And then it's kind of like a strange investigation. I think of it as like an archaeological game where I'm like the archaeologist studying the land of the studio. So I'm not really thinking of it as if, like, here's Scully's art. It's more like, here's the land of the juice, and what can I find out about it? This is a project I did and show. Um, when I was at Redline, I, it was an art residency I did that was two years, and I transformed my studio into like this big environment where I just painted and collaged all over the place and sculpted. And that's when I was thinking about the archaeology thing, where I was like getting into the idea that it's like a mythology kind of. And I had a show with it, so it was kind of like a museum, you know, like a history museum, like artifacts from the juice land. Music's very, creatively, it's very ethereal. I can pinpoint when I start to write a song and the moments the song came together and how it sounds in the end, but I don't ever feel like I'm writing that song. Music's a little more ethereal to me. It's just coming out of the universe and I guess I feel like I have more control over my visual art, whereas the music, I mean, it's just as good, but I don't really feel like I'm, I'm barely participating. I'm like writing down the lyrics and, and then writing the chords. I'm always, I'm always perplexed at the end of that experience because I don't really feel like I was doing it, but I was just an instrument of Mother Nature. Usually, I don't sketch too much. Like, I don't get ideas from sketching. I usually just, you know, get the blank canvas ready. Or I'll find a different object that will inspire me. Like, with sculpture, I use a lot of found objects. But I like to paint over what I paint a lot if I'm not happy with it. So the image kind of just keeps transforming a lot of times. I'm usually pretty satisfied if I nail it, like, in the first layer. But I also like continuously overlapping it and kind of destroying it. I feel like there's a spirit to that too. Eric is mostly a photographer and I'm a painter, but we cross a lot of lines and um, I model for him and we create installations together, like this right here, which was a stage for a comedy show.
talking about Royal Trucks. That's a band that I respect because they improv a lot when they play live, so their song never sounds the same more than twice unless you're listening to a record, but they don't see these changes in their music as, as fuck-ups. There's just the next step to go forward. I've done a lot of album art and a lot of flyers, but I really wasn't ever cut out to be a graphic designer because that's much less warm and much more limited than fine art. I don't think graphic art is as improvisational because if you're doing professional commercial photography, like you only use the seamless once and then you can't use it again because mm -hmm. there might be a wrinkle or a, a handprint. Like this photo here, like somebody might think this is like dust on the negative or something. Or like a lot of seamless backdrop paper. I used to get second hand so they'd have like wrinkles in them. Things that you would definitely take out if you were doing graphic or commercial work. Things that you'd want to erase or get rid of, but I call it improvisational. I'd like for Eric and I to get a big Eric and Scully show, like with a bunch of new Eric photos and a bunch of new Scully paintings find like more representation in like Chicago or New York or LA or something. That's my next goal.